I ain't never seen something like this in my life. There's two Kevins here. Oh, oh, the Kevins are going at it. God, that is some pure wood. We're cutting my liner for the pond right now. It is a big piece. Under limits right there. Liner's right there. So satisfying. What is going on crows? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a wild one. Let me tell you, we're about to build, pretty much finish up our 3,500 gallon. But before we get to that, of course, my little family of animals here wants to say hi to you. Gary, Kevin, what's up? Woo! And there they go. That's the original Kevin. I had an imposter here the other day. I ain't never seen something like this in my life. There's two Kevins here. That's definitely the real Kevin right there. Look, they're, they're, they're mad at each other. The OG Kevin's in the front. That is the, the fraud. I can't even believe my eyes right now. This is crazy. Oh, oh, the Kevins are going at it. See, I wasn't kidding. Fake Kevin. And guess what? The fraud Kevin's still here. He's right there with the mom. He straight up stole Kevin's wife. He literally stole Kevin's wife and the kids. Um, that's the fraud Kevin, by the way. You're a fraud. Well, maybe, maybe she likes him better. I didn't know ducks were the same way humans are. Who wants next? Nice selection of food here. We're gonna start off with, oh, the goats. Little there, little there, little there, little here. Next, the little itty bitty baby pigs. Why are you so scared of me still? It's so annoying. I try to get close to you, you just don't. Woo, it is beautiful out today. It's about 58 degrees in Florida. That is just fantastic. And with that being said, it is now time to start finishing this 3,500 gallon. First, we're gonna go by my buddy's place, Koi Smart, and pick up our massive liner that we gotta buy. Look where I'm at, Koi Smart. It's been a minute, but we're back, and I'm actually picking up liner for our pond up front. But they did a lot of work to this place. When I mean a lot, it looks a full 360 different. Koi fish over here as well. But if we just walk through the retail center, like where you know you can buy all the pumps and stuff, we're gonna walk straight to the back that used to be all like, you know, big liners and stuff. This would lead us right outside about a year ago. Now, is a full store. Look at this. I mean, talk about awesome. What? This is totally new. This is the first time. I think anyone's ever filmed this. This is baller. I, I kind of want, kind of want my fish room to look like that. that. It would be cool, you know it would. They've got a bunch of tetras here. Little neons right there. They got little tiny puffer fish. Look at them. Oh, little puffer fish. Hey buddies. Check out this. You know I got a tank just like this at my house. They're just waiting for me to drop something. I've been actually sending some of my beta fish to just friends around, literally around the world. I sent Aquarium Info, a beautiful one, and that thing's living the life, so I got some really cool beta fish and I'm just sharing them with friends. Oh yeah, we love our platies, that's for sure. We got platies here. I'm just so mind blown. One, the scaping in all these tanks is beautiful. Two, this is here, like, it was so fast. Everything happened in like, the matter of bang. Last time I was here, it literally did not look like this. So now we're gonna hit these tanks over here. I mean, not physically, you know, hit them, but we're gonna look at them. Looks like this whole entire section here is all species of African cichlid. Look at these guys. And look at the scaping in the tanks. Frontosis chilling in here. And talk about a natural habitat. I mean, this is a, uh, this right here is exactly what they wanna be in. Look at that. Over here on the next side, Looks like there's some Oscars in the corner, as you can see. Angelfish, and look at the scaping in this. So pretty. But I got a bunch of angel, oh, sorry to scare you guys. I love when they're in schools. For me, personally, every time I put angelfish in a school, it never works out. Here, looks like it's working. Literally the fastest fish I've ever seen, rose line shark. They're like little bullets in the tank. Okay, I'm not gonna bother you guys anymore. Albino red tail shark. Check out that bush and lows right there. There we go. <laughs> We're cutting my liner for the pond right now. It is a big piece. Thanks to my guys over here at Koi Smart for hooking up the liner. We got it, acquired, successful mission. I gotta go pick up some more screws and the wood we're gonna put around the side of the pond right now, but I don't wanna leave just yet because the liner's going on. Or actually, this is the underlayment, so a bit different than a liner. This is going to protect the liner from being pierced by anything like sharp items that are in the ground. Oh yeah, look at that. I got a big old piece. Hoping it's big enough. 
We did the measurement, so I hope it is. All the wood this stuff uh this is not cheap i thought this wood was like um gold let's say it's like this certain uh smells really good i don't know what the boys are up to at the house right now probably uh looks like they're uh, still up to doing the liner so just me and my buddy old pal wood here such a great guy all right here we are they finished the underlayment as you can see it looks absolutely fantastic the liner is just laid out right here, baking in the sun. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> but it looks good. This is the underlayment, completely trimmed, nice and neat, the whole pond. Now it's really becoming a pond, but I gotta put this camera down because we're doing the liner. Oh, that wouldn't be good. This is just a razor blade chilling next to the liner. Fantastic. For some reason, I don't know why, but I feel like this is bigger than the 4,000 gallon. It says online it's about 3,500 and change, but I feel like it's bigger than that. It's just so long. Hector said he has a guy that he works for that has this wood in his house, and it's over 50 years old and not one bit of rot, damage, nothing. That's why it's so expensive, and I thought to myself, like I mentioned, in PC Farm 2.0, where we're at right now, always happens to be landscapers every time I film. <laughs> I wanna do everything top notch. This right here is gonna be like in direct sunlight most of the time. The hardest part when installing liner is trying to get all the wrinkles out because you don't want to fill it up and then there's just wrinkles all along the side like that, you know, it wouldn't look good. So you gotta like fold it, triple fold it onto the wall because you're gonna have a lot of extra. See the underlayments right there? Liner's right there. So satisfying. I feel like I'm in like a video game trying to follow that, you know? The lens, I'm like All that excess liner. If anyone's trying to build a mini pond, I got you on some extra liner. Comment down below. <laughs> God, that is some pure wood. That just smells like you're in North Carolina or something. Yeah. Doesn't it? In Tennessee too. Tennessee? Yeah. Good old uh, cabin smell. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks good, so natural. And that's without the stain, we have the stain as well. Time lapse, let's do it. Yeah, that's the first screw in the pond right there. Did I buy the right ones? No, I was too short, but it's okay. I never do anything right. Wow. Close. That's gonna be sick. Okay. And then cut back uh, this way. Kind of hang over the bun? Yeah, it'll hang over like two inches. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> it's not as close as it looks. Yeah. When it's on camera, Hector. Love you, baby. Te amo. <laughs> That's a big old piece of wood right there. Sheesh. You have to cut a little bit over here. Yeah, a little piece cut off. That is, that is beautiful, dude. That is, there could not have been a better piece of wood to pick. I got this wood filler. Hector is here filling in the little holes the screws made. Let it dry, and then tomorrow we come back and sand it before we put our waterproofing coat. Bam, Caferos, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is just beautiful. Mia, get your butt out of the frame. That wood on the top was the final touch. It's exactly what this pond needed, something different color-wise to really make that wall pop. As you can see, this white wall is just popping now with that wood on the side, and it all matches. The colors just match perfectly. This pond is ready to have water, well, almost ready. We'll be filling it up here soon, very shortly on the channel, and that'll probably be the same day that we actually build a filtration system. I have a couple ideas for filtration. That'll be in a further video, so make sure to subscribe to not miss out on that. The next day, we put the staining on. It was a little bit too red, so then I sanded it down, and it became just perfect. All the way from the beginning of this pond build, step by step, it just got better and better, and now it just looks 
amazing. It is complete Caferos, other than the filter and obviously putting water and if we do a lot of decor in this pond, I don't think we're gonna do much just because I kind of want it to stay simplistic. Look at that. Shh. Right, the whole front, again, it's raining, so the wood it got wet and turns red because it's a very absorbent wood. It likes to just drink everything. But if you look on this side, where it's under the roof, of course, you'll see what it really looks like. It has that red. It's been raining a lot, as you can see. Subscribe down below. It's free, completely free. And over 50% of you are not subscribed, so I don't know what the heck. What are you doing? Smash the like button for more videos. Posting a little bit less this month, but typically January, February, is that's how it goes. At least I like to recoup, and um, yeah, this year's gonna be crazy, I'm telling you. I will give you a little sneak peek on next video. Just, just, just a wee bit sneak peek. God, it is just nasty weather take a look oh that's it so i'm gonna show you all right don't forget pc merch top of the description go check it out and i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>